Hey guys, and welcome to Let's Play SimCity with me, XBuX. Um, I won't spend too long in the menu before we uh, jump into things here. I just wanted to say uh, welcome all the new subscribers. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video content, and I hope you're looking forward to um, lots of exciting times in the world of SimCity with me. Uh, I'm just going to adjust the volume down a little bit more because it still sounds too loud to me. All right, perfect. Um, and to all of my subscribers who've been following me since uh, the original SimCity, welcome back. I'm going to be creating a brand new region, and I have a, a couple of ideas of what I would like to do. Uh, we're going to be playing in a very colossal region. And it's important when you select your region, one of the things I've noticed, the game unlocked about... Oh, I don't know. An hour ago and so I only did a little bit of fiddling around once the game was updated then I wanted to jump in recording to make sure I got some content out there for you guys to watch uh, one of the things to look for is the access uh, to roads that each of these um, these have the yellow are roads and the white is rail I think notice how they're not all interlinked how each of these kind of it, it looks kind of weird I don't know if that means that sims in this part won't be able to access sims in this part or if this just means that this road continues over on that side in the like the this region end wall attaches to that region end wall so i'm not 100 percent sure about that um because basically this is a brand new game so the choice is between um discovery delta which is kind of an interesting region lots of water uh, not my favorite. There's Titan Gorge, which was uh, the one I experimented with, and then there's uh, Viridian Woods, and I think we're going to play around in Viridian Woods mostly because um, it seems to have the most, like, raw area, and Titan Gorge seems to be very, um, to, to me, tight, it, there's too much, like, there's, there's too much topological stuff, so we're going to stay here. Um, I'm going to make it a private region because it's, this is going to be on my Let's Play region. It's going to be called Let's Play Sim City, and we will go to next. So, barring any uh, unforeseen server difficulties, which could happen since the game basically just came out, uh, we are going to look for the first site for to start really looking at putting down some cities. And I think I'm probably going to start right in the heart of the wood. Even though there are only two cities connected to rail here, maybe down here is a little bit better. The The road access is really important. I'll show you guys the difference. Some of these cities only have one uh, access. You may have uh, been wondering about that, but you can see like this this city will only have the one little exit here. Well, this city will have the, um, the highway, quote unquote highway. These two cities will have the highway running completely through them. They're much better for um, if you plan on doing transportation. So it takes a little bit of forethought, a little bit more forethought than I'm used to. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to claim the uh, Monet Plateau, I think. There's also... Uh, one of the things I'm looking for here is I'm looking for shipping, although there's no rail in this city. So maybe this city. Uh, let's see, can I get rail and shipping? I wish the rail connected between these two. But... My worry is that the big regions are just four regions smashed together. I don't quite know about that yet though. So we'll start working. Yeah, we'll start working on the Monet Plateau. Monet Plateau. Monet Plateau. <laughs> and uh, I've got I've got a bunch of ideas of what I'd like to do uh, with this region specifically. The main thing is like you guys might not know, but I'm a big fan of um, of industry and the, all of the things that go with industry. So that's going to be one of my primary focuses. Uh, and and we'll see uh, how it grows from there. So I've always tried to stay sort of like on the basics. So one of the things I'll say is that when you uh, start up your region, each, each city has like access to different things. 
which you can take a look at in um, your data maps. Some of them will have access to different resources, like for example, there'll be coal deposits, or there'll be uh, ore deposits, oil deposits. Uh, and this is something I'll cover later. But these are the main those are sort of like the main things you want to know if you're thinking of um, specializing. So the first thing we'll do to get started is we're going to need to connect our city up. And we're going to need a pretty good... The city design I used in the last time I played this game was pretty efficient. So I'm going to build a long uh, main avenue. I'm not going to build it all the way to the the river and I'm gonna branch off this main avenue but not um, not the way I did before I think I like that one of the uh, initial things you'll note about this game is that yeah, I'll go like that and then I'll have uh, road access off of here one of the uh, important things to remember is that the only exit you have is here so try not to build too many intersections which come too close to here if you'll notice that the avenue when you zoom in actually has um, traffic lights that's really important uh, when you when you go up from these are these here are four lane roads. When you upgrade to uh, high density avenues, they actually have six lanes. If you look there, you can see. And the six lane highways, or the six lane avenues actually can support a much higher traffic load. As well, these avenues can be upgraded later uh, to have trams that run along them. Streetcars. So that's something else that's important to note from these little avenues. Now I'm gonna build low density streets. Because we need, first thing we need to do is we need some residential, and then we're going to need to select a place to put factories. Now, I know a lot of people would, would say that oceanfront prob property probably isn't the place where you want to be putting factories. And maybe we'll take a little bit of a look at that. And let's see here. Oh, that looks kind of weird. Let's try it like this, then maybe. Hmm. <laughs> Keep the curves more, curve more gradual. I wish I could get that curve to be a little bit more gradual. I wouldn't mind there being like an oceanfront driveway here. Even though the city's gonna probably be a more factory style city. Some nice nice clipping bugs there. Alright, now let's get some I think that's okay. Are we not connected? Yeah, no, we're connected. Alright, here we go. These blocks look a little longer than I think I want to make them. Maybe that's all I, the best I can do with it. Alright. So 
So I'll start moving in some sims. And then what we need to do... What I need is I need a place to start building factories. And I think... we need to keep in mind is we need to keep in mind to have enough uh, I'm gonna build a small water pump right here that, that'll provide our sims with water clean drinking water and I'm gonna keep it as far away from the factories as I can which is really important something I didn't cover in the uh, in my initial playthrough of the game and actually what we're gonna do here this is one of the things that I really love about SimCity, uh, and I'll show you guys how I tend to work, is I'm actually going to leave this city. Until this city's power needs reaches a critical mass, I'm actually not going to... I'm actually going to import... Mm, actually, no. No, I changed my mind. I'm not going to import power. We'll go back to the city play. We'll just take out some loans. We're going to start off with a wind power plant. Oh, no, we're not. Let's go like to money and accept. I'm going to start off with a coal power plant. Mostly out of. Oh, the wind is blowing that way, hey? And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually leave this, this area. free and just have a really nice dense thicket of trees that run along uh, the outside of this avenue for one thing it looks pretty but the other thing is like the trees do a really good job of filtering out the air pollution and it looks like the wind is blowing um, the wind is blowing into the rest of our region so all these cities are gonna have to fight uh, this city's pollution which isn't actually a huge issue I don't think we'll see we'll see going forward if it becomes a massive issue if it does become a massive issue that we can fix it later but we are going to build now, we're gonna build a coal power plant and a sewage pipe just initially. We'll eventually be able to unlock uh, the ability to completely eliminate sewage. That's right here, the sewage treatment plant. It completely treats the sewage. Uh, but for now, all we're going to do is try to keep this stuff as far away from this as possible. Which actually sort of helps me structure the city a little, a little bit, which I'm, I'm fairly happy with. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to stagger the connections. Let's see if we can't get a better view of that. I'll stagger them just like that. We'll put down some industrial to give our sims some place to work. And while we're here, I'm actually going to zone just up this avenue right here. With commercial. That'll give our, our sims some places to shop. And as they move in, they'll eventually start wanting to get jobs. You can see down here, these are what you would call, would call the uh, RCI indicators because it's residential, commercial, industrial. Each of these levels stands for an individual level of wealth. So this is your lowest wealth, which is basically um, poor sims who just want to work in simple jobs. Uh, then it goes to medium wealth and then high wealth. Uh, you'll notice that industry is just one solid bar, which is a change for this game. Um, that's because they have uh, what's called a technology level, which I'll show you a little bit later in the video. So one of the downsides of building the coal plant is it's a lot more than we need right now. So I'm going to have to build a little bit more. Uh, 
industrial just to make sure we remain profitable. And I'll probably be getting some messages going forward. Don't worry too much about them. They're just people on my friends list who uh, want to talk to me. And we're now back into the profit, which is good. This actually is kind of messy. Not sure about that. Well, maybe it'll be okay. I hope that that'll be okay. The terrain's kind of messing me up right here. Alright. Let's take a look. So we've got some more residential demand. So we'll put up some houses here. Looks like our commercial's doing well. As far as zoning. I'm going to continue to expand and see, well, maybe that industry will grow without us having to do too much. I'm keeping everything right now low density, just because we don't really need uh, anything anything too, too high. And it is warning us about air pollution. You can keep, a tr keep track on air pollution by uh, taking a look at the air pollution map. And it'll tell you what's creating air pollution and what you need to, to make sure. Low L sims usually are not too, too fussy about, about air pollution. So we need a place for our city hall. And we need a place for it to expand. So I think, I think we're going to place our city hall closer to the beachfront properly. Mostly because it has a positive, it also has a positive effect on our uh, residential land value. First city we're going to name, the city is going to be Sunnyvale Trailer Park. With Jim Leahy as Trailer Park Supervisor. And the, I'm going to have those, I'll have those references uh, continually throughout the video. So we need some more residential. I'm going to be struggling with this terrain. This right here, we can upgrade to help alleviate some of the problems. And if you look, high density streets have uh, traffic lights. That'll help clear some of the backlog. If you notice with the street light, tra traffic flows a lot faster. I was talking about that uh, in my video, which, um, caused a lot of people to disagree but but it is it is true that the um, the traffic lights do really help traffic to improve we need some more place for people to live so maybe I'll draw like this and then right like Sure, why not? That looks fine to me. Yeah, now let's go. One thing we're gonna do I'm gonna do while I'm taking a look here is So I'm gonna continually try to keep building trees. We need somewhere to ship our freight, so we need more commercial zones. Yeah, more commercial zones up this main avenue. It's a good place to build commercial. 
because there's lots of traffic. I'm actually going to extend the commercial zone over there as well. This city will look, this city's going to look pretty basic. One of the reasons why this city is going to look basic uh, is because the, the point of this city is to just get us started. And so to get us started here, I'm just going to be building really quite simple. Mostly the hardest, the hardest part for me uh, in SimCity is going to be like getting going and just starting off some regional demand. There's a bit of uh, sitting and waiting around in SimCity, mostly because things cost a lot of money. Uh, what are we doing for? Let's see. Power. We have a lot of excess. We could have started off with a, a wind power plant, to be fair, um, but I, I kind of want power to the rest of the region as well. And we're excess on water and excess on sewage as well. Alright, so now we have to start tackling some of the public issues. Yeah, we still have a lot of demand. I think we're going to zone a little bit more. See if we can't get a little bit more profitable. And I'd like a bigger zone than this guy. This, this block here is too small. Too small, I think. Is that too big? side factories. Alright, let's go like this. This street right here is looking a little bit built, so I'm actually just going to upgrade that straight away to a high density street just to allow traffic to flow. And when you're in the traffic thing, that's one thing that um, you guys can keep in mind um, is just look for problem areas and kind of spot treat them as you go. If you're not really looking to cause like an explosive amount of growth right away, that's something to keep in mind. And actually what I was going to do before I, I skipped is I want these guys to gain some density. So let's take a look at some basic parks here yeah it's too big and it gives these guys access to a playground right across the street from I'm not actually looking you guys may one be wondering I'm not actually looking to I'm not I'm not actually looking right now uh, to grow the wealth in this region because what I want to do is I want to produce a lot of people so yeah industrial demand is really high right now so let's go back here some factories. Really wants me to build blocks that size, hey? Alright. And I'm gonna upgrade this guy right away because I know that that guy's gonna be a problem. Let's go. Now if you notice what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to, I don't know how effectively I'm going to be, but I'm trying to stagger the blocks instead of having it so that the, um, the blocks are all symmetrical. 
I'm trying to make it so that they... Uh, I hope... My hope is that with the asymmetrical blocks, traffic will flow a little bit better. But I'm not 100% sure. And one thing we always want to keep track of... Uh, nature. Over here. Is... To make sure we have... Lots of trees being planted. Since we are very profitable right now. Because industry is probably one of the most profitable things uh, in the game early on. Just want to make sure I'm keeping track of those. They, they definitely help air pollution. Worker shortage, eh? Alright, well we need some space around our city hall. And I do want to continue on with my riverfront property. So I think that's... Probably enough space there. And that you also want to leave... This is something uh, I need to talk about before I end this video. Because I might have to end this video pretty soon. Um, Always make sure that you leave enough space on your main drags, these these areas here, for you to put down um, health, fire, and garbage. They're really important. And actually the reality is we need to start working on that right now. So let's go ahead and put down our first place. We're actually going to place a one there, and we're actually going to get an extra ambulance, I think. It's okay with me. And I'll put it down right there. <laughs> right by that store. And eventually we will need some fire safety. Those being the two biggest, so your, your A, your region doesn't burn to the ground. But I want to make sure I have enough room to expand. So I'm actually going to put my fire station right... Hmm. Right there. Oh, we don't have enough money. Well, we'll put it on Cheetah for a little bit. We need... Oh, we have enough money now. There you go. Alright. Um, so for those of you who are clever customers, you'll note that I actually have a brand new microphone. And uh, I hope it makes a difference. I, I felt pretty bad about my old mic. It was pretty low quality. French police station. And uh, so I wanted to make sure my microphone was, was pretty decent. What's this person asking for? Oh, that's... this is for, um, the Heroes and Villains pack. Packs, I think. Uh, which is why we have the Maxis Manor and the VU Tower. French Police Station looks really nice, though. How's our crime map? Not in rules. We will need to put down a school eventually, just to keep our, our sims happy, but right now our main problem is we need workers. So let's go to here and... There's that. Now, can I make this neighborhood a little bit more sensical? I don't know if these guys will grow. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to go like this. I'll put residential in here. And then whatever's in the middle there, we'll just put trees. Uh, and we're going to go like this. Yeah, we'll, 
start building medium density streets because the other ones are not incredibly useful. Not as, as useful as I would like anyway. And we'll put in two more beachfront blocks. Don't worry, I will be adding um, parks and stuff like that in into the, the game. You don't have to sweat that. It's coming. It's just it's just gonna take a little bit of time. We need to move in some sims. And actually one of the things I need to do is get this happiness meter as high as I can, as fast as I can. Well, um I'm gonna I didn't set a timer so I'm gonna end the video here. Uh Is this another? I guess people really want me to get fire or police going. And hopefully some of these guys works. No, what are we doing? We have any driver problems? Right there. I'm actually. We'll upgrade this to six lanes. And as you as you can see, all those upgrades completely eliminated our traffic problems. Alrighty. These will look nice once they start growing, so they have a nice ocean front view, and eventually we'll be able to do some of the specializations, mainly the specialization I think we're gonna focus on is gonna be the trade port here. Alright, um, so I'm going to end the video, I'll go into region view, uh, we have <laughs> no other cities to ship those from. So we have 2,459 people, um, I am going to be working a little bit slower than you might be used to watching me work, I tend, um, you know, in my, in my other videos I tend to be plopping down things and going really quickly, so I'm trying to slow down just to uh, just to show you guys a little bit more of my process and stuff like that. And this city is going to look a little bit janky, but it's kind of our first real attempt before we start moving out into these expanded slots and really sort of playing with our region and doing those kinds of things. So um, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you join me next time when we play more SimCity. Bye for now.